Hi all, I am Bibi from the Techisat Studio. So today I am going to show you how to make a website online from your local system or how to convert your local system into a home server and make the websites online from your system itself. So first of all, for that we need a LAMP stock. Most of the developers are more familiar with uh, exam lamp stock so here's the exam website for and the best alternative for the exam is amp which is by the soft calculus so today we are going to take the exam server so here's the exam with website apagefronts.org go to the website and download the exam and install in your server, uh, local system so i have already installed the exam here so let's come to the main point to make your websites online from the local system you need a software support a free dynamic DNS management software system for that we are using the no IP software let's see how to do it first of all take the website noip.com and here's the website so here enter the host name so let's type what um, techy techy spot yeah, is it available or not yeah is it it's available so change the domain name to ddns.net or else uh, hop2.org, sap2.org. So I like this dot uh, dns dot net. So just take the dns dot net, take spot dot dns dot net. Sign up from here. So they ask me for the email. So take status uh, makes us take status which means take status and the password. Yeah, and the here's the, the domain name. So let's create it. Create a free account. Yeah, okay. Here my account is now activated and a confirmation is confirmation mail is sent to my mail address. So just take my Gmail take it set as a Gmail account. Here's the mail, just confirm it and close the last tab to confirm. Just close it okay. Okay, close the next tab. Yeah. Yeah, it's showing your account is now active. So here's the steps that should be followed. You have created the host name already. So now download this dynamic update plan DUC of no IP just click on the download uh, link here go to the download page and download it from here I have already downloaded it see uh, yeah I know IP DUC I have already downloaded and installed already now now just open it okay going to open it okay for the time being uh, we, have, we will do the next step port forwarding this port forwarding is done from the router's control panel so my router is dealing and I am going to enter into my control panel dealing DLC yes okay I have entered into my dealing control panel so this is an old interface or the old versions interface here we will go to the advanced setup NAT and the virtual server. Most of the newly updated interfaces have uh, what to say uh, port forwarding link, uh, option is there. Just go to it. Here in this interface, we have virtual servers. Now uh, add a virtual server. So here's the way to add a virtual server in your router. 
So select the HTTP web server HTTP and find the server IP address. Okay, for this, uh, open your terminal first. Okay. Just type uh, IP config. Uh, most of the Windows systems use this IP config to get the I, uh, server's IP address. In Mac, we'll use IF config, right? Yeah, IF config. And come to the top and you will get the IP address. Yeah, here it is 192.168.1.3. So it's after 1.3. And the external port 80, uh, external port and 80. Make the protocol TCP bar UDP and internal port start 80, internal port ends 80. Finally, apply or save. Yeah. Okay. So it's all done. So and this is just so now I'm going to change the mail address to e status at gmail.com password. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we are in the techie status form. So reload the host. There you will see the host here. Techiesport.ddns.net. Uh, click on it, and then uh, in most of the first time cases, uh, this uh, DUC it will not in a start position to me and first of all uh, it will be in this position to make it start okay and then go to settings uh, clear, okay then close it click on update now and now just click get started with dynamic dns it will go to the no ip uh, dashboard the one host name is activated and here it's one already showing host without recent dynamic application just make that error clear so go click on it so it's saying node uh, dynamic update detector so click on that configure now and select the host name tech e or next step connection details so router branch, router branch, my router branch is T link and it's work. It's web server, yes, web server and click on next step. Is there a computer always running on your network? Yes. So they are told to download the you see we have already downloaded but no matter just click on it and just close it okay the next step okay the default port used by the web server is 40 okay we have already done the port forwarding so just go to the next step and check the port 80 is open or not yeah the port 80 is showing that the port 80 is open so click on next step yeah finally it's finished so go back to the post names okay now the error is clear so let's go to the dashboard yeah it's showing the green lights here so now now let's go to the host name copy the host name take a new tab paste the host name and go to Uh, now it's going to the uh, modem page. So now we want to make our exam online or the exam file online. For that, open the exam. Yeah, 
So the exam is on. Then go to the manage servers and start all the services. Yeah, the everything is running now. So now just check. Open the new tab. Paste the code. It's loading, 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 loading. Yeah, it's now showing the interface. In the stuff. So just go to the welcome page and the application folder. Go to street docs. Now create an index.php file in that history doc so just type i o dog yes. okay now save the file and just make it reload a hi or www.tuckyzl yeah uh, that the website is up now just for the confirmation Tell your friend to enter into the URL that you have made. Now I have made the text at techiesport.ddns.net. So give the friend your URL and say him to enter into the URL. That time he can also view the uh, file that you have updated in the HG doc of the exam. So that's all. Now your local system is your home server. So I hope. This video is really helpful for you so if you feel like that just click on the subscribe button and just like it and just share to your Facebook Google and wherever you have the account thank you for watching thank you all